Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of OK Zoomer. I'm Aaron Lichtig, your host today, Zometry Guy and former Jeopardy! champion. I'm also here today with my special co-host, Alex Lichtig, otherwise known as my second head. Um, and he will be contributing some questions as well. Um, our other guests today are Luke Mahelsik and James Herzing of Unprofessional Engineering. This is one of my favorite podcasts. Um, it is the foremost place for almost accurate engineering insights, and it is the second most popular podcast in Pittsburgh. Um, their day jobs, James leads paid social marketing, and Luke is a technical marketing manager both at Autodesk. So welcome, Luke and James. Thanks for being here. Thank you for Thank having us, and that yeah. was an amazing introduction. Uh, I'm fairly certain we might be beyond that second most popular in Pittsburgh podcast. I, we haven't looked at the stats recently, but I, I, I feel like we've been <laughs> in, coming on. In your street. heart, you feel that's the case. In my heart, in my heart I, I, I'm a central Pennsylvanian at heart. I grew up in the State College area, so we, we do listen to Pittsburgh radio up there. Um, all right, so uh, how did you decide to start the Unprofessional Engineering podcast? Where'd it come from? Yeah, so we kicked this thing off in 2016, well, and the don't original. Say we. Don't okay, say we. I I kicked this thing <laughs> off in 2016. Uh, it was with one of my other friends, uh, who made it roughly 29 episodes, I think, and he didn't get rich quick, so that was very disappointing for him. And so he decided he no longer had time to do this, and that's when uh, Luke got into the mix for the following what 170 episodes or so. I'm going to uh, say the real beginning. Of, the real beginning, yes. Yeah, yeah. But it really all started because I was interested in buying a smoker to start smoking meat, and I wanted to justify the research that I was going to be doing and thought, this might be interesting for other people. And I didn't want to just know what kind of wood chips I throw in there or what kind of meat I could cook. I wanted to understand the CFD or the airflow involved in what I was doing. So once I got a little bit nerdy with my research, the first episode was born, and then we had unprofessional engineering. So where do you come up with the subject ideas for the show? Well, I mean, they're mostly me. Um, you know, James is, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if dead weight is the right word. It's I mean, close. I mean, the apparition. Luke's dead weight dead. might be. No, no, I, in, 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 all, in all seriousness. Uh, so what we do is usually Mondays or Tuesdays or even Wednesdays now that we're in the middle of this pandemic and everybody's kind of busy and schedules are weird. James basically sends me a Slack message and says, hey, are we recording this week? And I say yes, of course, because I love talking That's with right. James. And, uh, and then we just kind of go back and forth uh, on things we're interested in, things that are in the news. There's been a couple of times where like we totally forgot we did episodes, um, which is really like we have to look at our own episodes because what, what are we up to now, James? Uh, 205, I think. Yeah. 205, uh, wow. And then, and then basically James poo poos everything I say. <laughs> and then like about 10 minutes later, he says something almost identical to what I said. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. And he totally like, like tricks me into thinking he's the one that came up with the ideas. So a lot of Jedi mind tricks. Uh, I will say, though, that uh, as the show's gone on and gotten more popular, we get more and more write in suggestions. People will say, I love such and such an episode about an inventor or about a product. And they'll recommend something that they think is interesting that we could research uh, as well. So that's a great source of ideas also. One so of our I've, coolest write-ins, as a matter of fact, you, you have your son sitting on your lap. Uh, one of our listeners uh, wrote in, and his son requested how do touch screens work. Oh, and I had no idea how a touch screen works. So we actually did an episode specifically for this for this kid uh, for this for the, this guy's son, and they were like over the moon that like we mentioned him on the podcast and stuff. It was pretty cool. That's a great episode. Now, what are some of the most memorable? podcasts that you've had some of the most memorable guests or ideas that you in those 205 episodes you've seen 
I'll let you go first, James. Oh, thanks, Luke. All the pressure. So uh, we've had a number of great episodes with Greg from Zometry. I believe he's had, uh, he might be our leading guest with three leading, appearances. Leading uh, he guest. always, and you know, it sounds like pandering, but he's just such a, a smart guy. He knows so much about the industry. Luke and I are both engineers, so we're always interested in like the coolest trends like 3D printing and manufacturing. So those episodes were always great. We also had a really cool interview with one of the original inventors of the GPS system. So he was in, he invented the atomic clock that makes it all possible. And listening to him speak with the passion that he still has about the project and everything that he worked on over the years was just mind blowing. The guy was on a whole different level of intelligence compared to Luke and I, or at least myself. I won't speak for you, Luke. I had but, a problem with my guests as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it was amazing though. And, and like, it was just unreal because the week before he was actually at Buckingham Palace meeting with uh, the, the queen and other royalty discussing some giant award that he won for his contributions to GPS. So it made me feel pretty good that we were right on par with, with the queen. So, yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. My, my, my favorite was, uh, I, I have, I have two. So we did, one's a series. We did this series on toys that we grew up with and that was just uh. the research for that. And like, remembering like stretch armstrong and all these you know etch a sketch and all these cool toys that we grew up with um the research was just so much fun the nostalgia there and then the other one was and i'm gonna be a little uh, i'm gonna pander to our our, our ceo here uh, at autodesk but so we go to autodesk university every year and we interview mm -hmm. customers and people at, at autodesk university and we for two years we asked if we can a a interview andrew uh, the CEO of Autodesk. And I think it just kind of went, you know, I, I think whoever's admin was, it was like, yeah, no, this isn't going to happen. And then I think what happened was we interviewed a whole bunch of the VPs and senior VPs and it went really well. And we did this amazing interview last year at AU uh, with Andrew. Uh, and it was just really cool to like, I mean, you don't usually get a ton of FaceTime with, you know, the CEO of a multi-thousand person, multi-billion dollar company. And uh, he sat down and chatted with us about all kinds of stuff, which was, which was really cool. So. That's awesome. Yeah, we were, we were out at Autodesk University last year. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's a great experience. So do you guys have any big new ideas or innovations coming up on unprofessional engineering? Well, Luke's already claimed to be the idea guy, so I'm going to let him run with that. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 it's, it, you know, it's, it's not ideas necessarily like anything net new, but I, I think the biggest thing that, that we try to do. So one of the things, you know, you talked about topics and, you know, we go from interviewing, you know, our CEO to the person that invented the atomic clock to, you know, how to smoke meats. So it's a pretty <laughs> broad range of ideas, right? And, and I think what we do is we try to put ourselves in the shoes of an engineer who is sitting in a car, driving somewhere or on a bus or sitting at home or cutting the grass on the weekend and like, what would they want to listen to? And, you know, so probably the newest series we started, James, is this Companies That Built the World. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is we've taken all these kind of companies, you know, like Ford and uh, Samsung and a handful of other companies. I'm kind of drawing a blank on all of them, but that's been one of our latest series that we've done. And that's been really cool to do some research. So, so that's probably going to be showing up in, you know, the coming weeks and months uh, going forward. Uh, companies that built the world. Um, engineers we love has been a really good one. And who is the cat we did just recently that we couldn't believe we waited that long for? Um, <sighs> Uh, it wasn't Newton. It was the other guy. Uh, I'm drawing. I got nothing. We've I do have a. Idea. I do have I a mini series. Actual cat. What? No. <laughs> no <laughs> that might be a good episode. Right, I have yeah. one that could we could talk to. Uh, we do have a cool mini series. I think uh, on the books where there's two two. I'll say kids, but guys that reached out to us. Uh, one recently finished high school, and another one's still a senior in high school. And they came up with this amazing project, won this cool contest, and it was all about 
uh, reducing concussions on uh, when playing football. So they're changing the materials and the design of the materials inside of a football helmet to reduce concussions. And they were supposed to go out to Amazon and meet with some little known CEO there. They were going to meet with Russell Wilson um, of the Seattle Seahawks, for those of you who aren't uh, huge football fans. And that all got canceled due to the pandemic. And they reached out to us as their next choice of people that they wanted to mentor them and ask questions to, which you know, it seems like a, a poor decision on their part, you, but I really liked it. If you can't talk with Jeff Bezos or Russell Wilson, you know, talk to unprofessional engineers. Lincoln James. Yeah. So we're going to talk to them about the process that they went through and what they're continuing to do to get this idea into, into testing and then maybe into an actual product. And what I love about this is, that an unintended result of unprofessional engineering is the huge STEM influence that we've had. Uh, we get into high schools, we talk to all sorts of students, teachers play our podcasts for their classes kind of as background noise while they're working on projects and being able to then interact with some students that have listened to us and then really gone on to do way cooler things than we've ever done already uh, is kind of inspiring. Like for and, me. And we've had the opportunity too to give out some grant money this past year, right. um, w w which was which was really cool, helping out some teachers, um, you know, w w where they need, you know, funding for you know whatever they're doing in the classroom. So that's been kind of cool. So that's great. You guys are having an impact not just with your direct listening audience, but with the next generation. Yeah. Well, speaking of the next generation, Alex, do you have any questions for uh, for James and Luke? No questions? None at I don't all. don't blame you. Mm. So I, I, so I, 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 yeah. I have a question for, for your son. Whenever yeah. you grow up, um, what are you going to do? Are you going to be an engineer? What do you think? Maybe. You're going to be an engineer? Whatever you do. Professional engineer or an unprofessional engineer? <laughs> <laughs> don't be a civil engineer. <laughs> And don't be an electrical engineer. That's kind of like our running joke is we all, and we actually had someone, we, we get a lot of write-ins uh, and a lot of email and we, we jokingly make fun of civil engineers and electric. You got kids all over the place. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my guests, my guests uh, have been taken away. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so our running joke is we make fun of electrical and civil engineers all the time. So as long as your children don't grow up to be civil engineers or electrical engineers, they're good. All right, I will make sure that does not happen. Now, but before we started recording, we were talking about starting a podcast or starting an interview show. Uh, you guys have any good tips for people who want to do this or are thinking about doing this? Hmm, where to start? Uh, I think that's tip number one. Don't worry about that. Uh, get out there, start making it happen. Uh, we didn't know anything about podcasting when we kicked off. We might not be the the biggest podcast in the world, but we've really got some good traction with what we're doing and it's been pretty rewarding seeing the growth. But I think if you just get out there and start talking about something that you're interested in, your passion is going to come through and that's going to make for good content that people want to listen to. In addition to that, Luke can speak to this better than I can. Uh, the sound quality that you're going to be going for is super important. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's top of line. If you listen to some of our older episodes, not that good, but we've been lucky enough to invest in some other equipment and and just the sound quality has gone up. And as that happens, people continue to listen more and listen longer to your episodes. So yeah. I guess get out there and start working. Make sure you have good sound equipment. Yeah. And then the other thing, too, I would say is there's there's some consistency and, you know, you, you want to make sure that and I don't know what the right number is for you or whoever, you know, is starting one, you know, maybe it's daily. If you have the time, uh, maybe it's once a week, maybe it's, you know, once a month, but like whatever you commit to, you know, think about that person that's listening to your podcast. If, if you say every month and then that 30 days rolls by and there is another podcast, they're not going to come back. So whatever that is. So if it's a month, if it's a week, we release every week, um, which I think is a pretty good cadence. Um, you know, if, if we could figure out a way to monetize this thing and make some cash money off of podcasting, maybe we do more episodes a week, but, uh, two a day. Definitely, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely make sure you do this on a consistent basis. If, if you're like, you do five and then nothing for a month and then 10 and then nothing for a week, it just, it, it just doesn't work. So be consistent. 
All right. Well, James and Luke, thank you so much for joining OK Zoomer today. Uh, we'll be back with another episode in roughly two to three days, which is our general cadence. Um, Perfect. James and Luke, thank you so much. It's been great chatting with you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. It's been fun. Bye now. Bye.